Today we're going to be playing around with wind. Mojang recently introduced the wind charge, which is an interesting thing which allows you to knock back mobs. Wait, is that, aren't pink sheep meant to be really rare? I apologize for what I just did to you. So the wind charger is a kind of strange form of attack, but it has a fairly interesting quirk when it comes to redstone in that it will actually flick redstone components and <laughs> actually modify their inputs, which is pretty cool. It means that you can remotely activate redstone contraptions from absolutely miles away if your aim is good, unlike mine. Now I've actually set up a bit of an experiment here. Now the good thing is your aim doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because as long as you hit within this sort of range here, it will still toggle the redstone device. The corners of these blocks are just about outside of limits but even the edges of these ones will still toggle it. So I've gone 100 blocks away, let's see. I mean, that looks good. Okay, easy. We are now at 150 blocks. Man, it's, it's, it's difficult to aim, but that is perfect. That is going straight onto the lever. And it still works, what? I now have a 200 block line. That is so ridiculously far away, but that is a good shot. So if anything was going to activate it, it would be this. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm actually speechless. I've given up on the markers now. I'm at the edge of my render distance. Let's see what happens here. We're going to start to run into issues with the randomness of the charge, but that actually looked like that could be good. <gasps> what? <laughs> that is so ridiculous. I don't believe it. Now, it absolutely isn't reliable because as you can see, there's a tiny bit of randomness to how it leaves your hand, but when you get a good shot like that, it will actually activate a redstone contraption that is right on the very edge of your render distance. Take, it takes a long time, but there it is. That's so, that is so stupid. Look how far away that is. Okay, so that's obviously useful for just the player shooting it, but what about a dispenser shooting the wind? Which by the way, when we're talking about wind being used in redstone contraptions, I think we should call it fartstone. What is the 100% reliable range of a fartstone redstone? Con okay, it's not, not very far. These wind charges have so much random velocity when they come out of the dispenser. Wow, I kind of wanted to test its single block hit rate, but given that that was so pathetic, I think we are going to have to surround this thing in a three by three. And this looks a little bit better. So from 10 blocks out, we're 100% reliable. What about 20 blocks out? I mean, good start, but it definitely feels like we're on the edge. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just the occasional one which flies past, which means that this would not be reliable as a wireless redstone situation here. My extremely scientific research shows that 99.9% .9 reliability is achieved by a 14 block distance from your redstone component to your dispenser. 13 blocks, 100% reliable. So fartstone is not going to revolutionize wireless redstone, but it could be useful. Let's see if I can find a unique use for this quirky redstone component. Right, the first idea I've had is pretty stupid, but I think I think this could be the smallest way to make a two by two piston door. Yes, it works. Does it also close? I mean, you have to be very precise, but it does actually work. <laughs> so we've got a wind powered piston door. This is good. This is good. I mean, it takes forever to operate, but it's good. And you know, if you really wanted to open your door from miles away, then this is the perfect way to do it. No, it can get a little bit annoying when things get out of sync though, I will say that. But you know, I would still consider this a success. What about a rocket jump elevator? If you jump and fire a wind charge at the same time, then you get a rocket jump effect. And I think this could be very entertaining. So when I rocket jump, how high do I go? Okay, about this high. Uh, maybe knock one off just for simplicity. Now the cool thing is I can actually just use a button down at the bottom here because obviously our wind charge will activate that button. So then all I have to do is send that redstone signal up to our piston. And from there, I should be able to launch straight upwards. Mm, I didn't quite go high enough there. Do I have to time this right? Oh, oh, okay. But the piston doesn't stay out long enough. So I've added in this pulse extender here. Let's see, jump. Okay, didn't quite make it. And now this is gonna stick out for ages because of the pulse extender. Oh, this is the most annoying redstone contraption ever. My only goal at this point is to go up two layers. That's all I care about. Come on. Bad start. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so wind charges, yeah, probably revolutionized elevators marginally. Let's move 
swiftly on from that one to a Minecraft equivalent of Microsoft Paint. Right, I'm extremely curious. If I just create a three by three pixel here with a bunch of blocks and a bunch of levers on the back, does the wind charge travel through to the lever? No, it doesn't seem to, but I still have hope. If anything, this is the way that I should have done it in the first place. So if I place in some levers here, in between the blocks and then the redstone lamps, Let's see what happens now. Oh. That is very curious. Very, very curious indeed. This feels like it will be even more annoying. Yeah, same story. And then I guess on this side, the entire thing will get activated, right? Yeah. So, my hopes of having 1x1 one one pixels have been completely dashed, but there is still hope for 3x3 three three pixels. All I have to do is detect this lamp turning on and then turn on all the others. Something like this should do the trick, so I just kind of create a weird mess of observers and things. I think this is good, and I think they should be able to be stacked next to one another. So now when I hit this button in the middle, the entire pixel lights up, and the entire pixel turns off. Pretty cool. Well, actually, let's be honest, it's not that cool at the minute, but once I clone it a bunch of times, it should become cool. My gosh, and the cloning sound of these is the most satisfying thing ever. Oh, <laughs> it tickles my brain. So I've got 10 of these things going across, and now I have 10 rows of them going upwards, which gives us a 100 pixel screen, which I can use my wind charges to remotely draw with. So let's start things off pretty easy. I just want to draw a smiley face. So if I put in the eyeballs here, I mean, that is going pretty smoothly. And this is quite satisfying. You do have to be, I think you have to be fairly accurate because I don't want to activate more than one pixel at once. But that has gone well. <laughs> that has gone really, really well. This is cool. This is actually really cool. And this is not something that I would have been able to do previously without the wind charge. And it's not particularly complicated either. I mean, look at this thing. It's tiny, it's like a flat screen TV. Let me quickly take you to the other art drawing program I made a few years ago. Uh, here it is. It's, it's quite considerably bigger and chunkier. Now it does have a one by one pixel display, but it is significantly slower as well. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know if it's work. No, yes, it is working. It is working. It is just that slow. It's also a little bit confusing to mirror what the buttons do to the screen and it runs off of constantly pulsing redstone clocks, which I can't imagine are really that great for Minecraft servers. And this build over here is even older than that one. In fact, it's probably one of the first five builds I built in this entire redstone testing world. And similar to my new wind-based design, it uses three by three pixels, but this one actually pre-saves various different drawings and things. I think this is actually meant to be an animation that gradually goes down to a point, but there's no way to change the art. It's pre-programmed using repeaters and redstone and bits. So long story short, I really like my new wind-based display. And actually, while we're on the topic of turning lights on from a distance, I've got an idea. I'm actually gonna have to do some building to sell this one, so give me a minute. Okay, so I've got a little pathway here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some string lights. You know, those nice little decorative lights that they occasionally put in towns to make them look prettier. I've decided I want to suspend these things from trees. Honestly, I'm, I'm having a little bit too much fun building here. Let's get back to the serious redstone stuff. I've got a daylight sensor down here. I've got some dispensers with the wind charges inside and then I've got some buttons on the underside of these lights. I'm sure you know what I'm thinking. Come on, come on. <laughs> Is that not the fanciest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> it might be one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. <laughs> like, if you just imagine an entire area of a Minecraft server or something being lit up by wind charges like that, Man, it doesn't actually get much better. Now, could you just use daylight sensors on top of redstone lamps? Yes, you could. Yes, you could, but it wouldn't be quite as cool. Will it be annoying having to gather up all of the wind charges for this? Probably. Is it the best way of doing things? Absolutely not. But is it awesome? It is. However, so far I've created a lot of wind charge specific redstone builds, but none that just use the wind charges inside of redstone builds. Can I think of a problem that the wind charge solves inside of a regular redstone contraption? Hmm, that could be more challenging. And you know what? I think I've actually thought of something here. 
that is pretty cool. That is actually really, really cool. Oh, except it doesn't quite work. And I imagine that is because before when I was testing it, when the wind was traveling through the pistons, they were transparent. But now in this contraption, they are solid blocks. So obviously the wind is just hitting up at the top there. I genuinely thought I was onto something then. That felt really good. But that does reveal something quite wild about the wind charge, which is something that I noticed earlier, but didn't really give too much thought, which is the fact that wind charges, they travel through non-complete blocks. It has nothing to do with transparency because they crash into glass, but any block that is not a full block, the wind charge will pass straight through. Now, how is that useful to redstone contraptions? Well, in situations like this, we can now pass a redstone signal through multiple redstone lines. So you can see that we have got our light blue line, that is working properly, our regular blue line, that is all working properly, but then we also have this cyan line, which actually travels through the pair of them without interfering with them at all, which feels useful, although I can't currently think of times right now where I directly need it, but I do think this might come in handy in weird edge cases. One thing that did come to mind though, is aesthetic looking piston doors. You can see here, no space for any redstone. It's all transparent. It looks rather lovely. But if I stand on this pressure plate, you can see that the wind is actually what is opening this thing up. Slightly out of sync. That's the only issue. But otherwise, I mean, this thing is cool. Like, this is really, really cool. I just imagine this as the border of some evil looking base. It's kind of perfect. So yeah, in short, the wind is pretty cool. I'm a little bit upset that I haven't had a chance to play around with it too much yet. It's been in the game for a little while. It's been in a few snapshots, but they kind of got introduced as soon as the Hermitcraft season started. So I was a little bit later than usual. But yeah, I'm going to keep fiddling with them. Going to keep playing around. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.